Well, February is uh, Alternative Medicine Month on our In Focus Health uh, segment. Joining us now is In Focus Health correspondent Lino Mudu. Lino, you have something special for us today, don't you? Yes, of course, Vincent, and I wish you could join us right here for yoga. We begin Alternative Medicine Month with yoga indeed. It's uh, an ancient discipline from India that includes meditation and various movements of the body. Popular worldwide, yoga is gaining interest in sub-Saharan Africa and is practiced in countries like Rwanda, South Africa and Kenya. Here in Washington, Angelique Shofar, a native of Liberia, is committed to making yoga a lifestyle. Her yoga teachings empowers people, especially women, on how to integrate yoga in their lives to become healthier in mind, body, and spirit. Angelique, welcome to the program. Thank you, Lenore. It is so good to have you. We hear so much about yoga and how it's good for your health. Tell us about that. Yoga is definitely good for the health, and it's become a lifestyle for me. So I encourage people to make it that way. And how is it good? Uh, what because does it, it, do? it, it reaches all of us the whole person, physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, mm -hmm. and spiritually. Mm -hmm. So it's all encompassing. That's interesting. Now, when you say physically, the first thing that comes into my mind is flexibility. Because when I see people doing yoga, I see that they are very flexible. They have become flexible over time. Okay. So I want to encourage the listeners and viewers to understand that in order to become flexible, you should do yoga. So you don't have to be flexible before doing yoga? No, because yoga has many different variances. There's okay. advanced yoga, there's very gentle beginning yoga, intermediate. Yeah. So there's very d different stages of yoga. And how long have you, pra have you been practicing? Over 15 years 15 before my son years. was born. Why yes. did you start? Um, I started it because I was challenged. Health-wise, I had I was dealing with fibro tumors, okay. and I did not want to have surgical a surgical procedure, and so I opted for alternative ways of healing and shrinking the tumor, and it did. I got I shrunk my tumors in the middle of becoming a yoga teacher. I got home and I got pregnant. And that's something that obviously worked for you. It may not work for everybody, but at least it worked for you. Yes, it did. So tell us about some of the movements that um, you are teaching and you are practicing. My yoga focuses on womb wellness. I focus on women's health, their reproductive, their sexual reproductive health. And okay. so since there are lots of illnesses and diseases that affects women, such as fibro tumors, which is what I went through, cysts, endometriosis, infertility, so that's in, um, hormonal and balance, uh, um, bad periods. So all of those are issues that a lot of women are dealing Definitely with. Definitely. And yoga can that. help rebalance the reproductive system. Okay, so let, let, teach us some of the moves okay. that you so, do. So listen, this is something so ancient, so African. Actually, my son reminded me, and it's the simple squatting position. Just squatting. You know, lots of women in the villages, they squat to, to put their, their fire on, to yeah. cook, and to connect with the earth. So just a simple squatting allows you to begin to massage the internal organs. Usually my son does this in the morning, and then he goes and he has his morning movement. Right. So it's a great way to start the... the and our it actually, intern, Sarah, is joining you, so Sarah is going to follow exactly what you are saying. It also strengthens the lower back, as you can see, and um, connects you with the earth, brings your womb down to the earth. Okay. So do Doing this stimulates movement within the, the, the core. And right. the, the pelvic area, the pelvic floor is that which contains and holds all of the other organs, kidney, bladder, spleen, so forth. So this is so simple. Just keeping your hands folded, uh, your, your knees, um, your okay. knees locked. Let's go, so that's let's one. go to another so one. So another one is um, a goddess pose, which you're lying on the floor, bring your heel up to your pelvic floor. Keep your, your feet together, legs apart, arms by the side. Now this is so simple, but what it does, it, it helps to increase circulation in the pelvic area so that energy is flowing down to the legs and also energy from the legs is flowing up so that there's greater circulation in the entire body. What I like to do to modify this posture is place my hand on my pelvic region. Okay. So the energy from my hand also stimulates and those who have Reiki um, energy are able to stimulate more, Great. you know, um, 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 feed the organs just from your hands. Interesting. Another one is simply sitting up. This is what you call a butterfly walk. 
once again with your feet together, you grab onto, onto your toes, your feet using your hands, and allow your spine to be nicely aligned, your sit bones sitting down. And just gently rock from side to side. Gently rock, and then you can try walking. Walking for, so what this That's does again is stimulates, it's so simple, but what it does, it does a whole lot more than what it seems. So it's stimulating you, it's getting your pelvic region moving, your organs are starting to be internally massaged in many ways. So this is a great way to start your day. You know, just awaken the energy in our core center, particularly as women, since this is where we hold all our emotions, right in the bowl. So about how long do you do, do, you do each movement? For, for those who are beginning, just starting your day off by connecting with your body. It's a great way to just come within yourself, you know, and just stretch and breathe, breathing. Stretching. Let's do some stretching. So important and, uh, I've in seen yoga. You've done it yeah, so it's very interesting. So the sun salutation is a, a, a series of postures that flow one into the other. So we begin in hands, hands in prayer position, raising our arms up into the mountain pose, arch back, letting your head drop so you can get that stretch in the neck area, arching the lower back. Bring your hands by your side, by your feet and then extend your right leg back. So this way you're stretching the thighs and the buttocks, increasing circulation. Bring the other one back into the bridge pose. As you can see, we all go through bridges in life. Absolutely. Allow yourself to go down into the worm and then just shift into the cobra. So these are a series of postures, one into the other, back downward. And then we move into downward dog, which is another popular one. Okay. Downward dog, mm -hmm. okay, strengthening the legs. Bring your right foot forward, aligned with your right hand. Once again, you've got that stretch in the leg area, opening up the thighs. Bring your left foot back, all the way up. Back over, stretch. So this is allowing the spinal column to, to stretch and move. Which, you know, the spinal column is very important in our health because it also corresponds with all of the organs that are in front. So if you're having a lower back pain, women are having lower back pain, then there's stagnation also going in the pelvic region, the uterus area. So basically so, what we understand here is the fact that you're moving and stretching, doing all this movement allows flow, energy to flow energy in your body to flow, exactly. and some of the organs to be stimulated okay. so that they can function opt optimally. So since we're energetic beings first, we need the breath to live, right? So okay. we need the breath to move through all parts of our body. So it oxygenates all the way down to the feet. Most times we're not thinking about that. That's right. So breathing allows it. And it calms the central nervous system, allows you to relax so that you're at peace with yourself and you're not affected by external. Okay. And you peace is good. I yourself. definitely need that. We all need some peace. So over time, you develop better health. Absolutely. You know? It makes sense. The body sense. heals by itself. It definitely makes sense. Because you're Don't cooperating you. with Thank you so, Thank you so much, much for Nana. coming, joining us. I will, let's, let's end with a simple movement that okay. I can do. And I will yes. say goodbye to so you. So just open your legs. Like that. Stretch out. Okay. Yeah. And this is for you, Vincent and Ndimiake. I hope you can replicate that at home. <laughs> wow. And that was really too far. We thank her for joining us today. She is with the Spirit of Wellness. She's the founder. Back to you, Vincent. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good to that see you nice. guys. And uh, Sarah, our intern, is just fabulous. Thanks a lot uh, uh, for joining us today. Be sure to watch for Lino Mudu. It's a special alternative medicine segment each Thursday throughout February right here on In Focus.